The beauty of summer nearing its end is that football season is just around the corner. It's the time of the year when the sport of football reunites its players and fans with a feeling of hope and pride. It is the one time of the year that every team's goals and dreams are within reach. Lansing, it's the time of the year when thoughts of Big Ten trophies and the smell of roses begin to fill the air. The clock expires and the game is over. Everybody rushes out on the field to congratulate the Michigan State Spartans who have won their second Rose Bowl game in three years, both over UCLA and the final score in the 1956 Bowl game. Michigan State, 17, UCLA, 14. First and goal, Michigan State trailing 3-0. It's quite again. He's got the touchdown! Michigan State, 20, Southern California, 17. A Michigan State team that played without mistake, that earned the win. In East Lansing, it's the best time of the year. Because in East Lansing, it's the time of the year when the Spartans begin their chase. As August rolls around, so does football season. But before the Spartans get to open up their season at Spartan Stadium under the Friday night lights against Western Michigan, the team has to go through three grueling weeks of preseason camp. Uh, the beginning of the camp, uh, very excited. I was very excited to start camp. I haven't been playing football since the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. And it's just a great feeling to go out and run around with my teammates and my friends. You know, we had heartbreak losses last year that, you know, we can't get those games back. And those are in our past, and you know, we need to learn from them. And I think our team has learned from them, or we're learning from them right now. Yeah, we worked hard all summer. Um, Coach Manny, his workouts, you know, they're grueling every day, day in and day out. Uh, we're working. And uh, I think that really helps us right now going into the grinding camp, because um, it's tough. We're here all day. Um, 6.30 in the morning all the way to 9.30 at night, so we're working. Body's a little bit sore, but uh, you know, just kind of grinding through. As uh, these days go on, you kind of turn back into like a robot of doing all football. You do meetings, football, hang out in the cafeteria, back to meetings and football to sleep. Uh, you kind of can salvage the last 30 minutes to be able to talk to your mom and uh, tell her how the day's going. So far, we haven't even done too much hitting, and every player is already complaining about how sore they are, how, how tired they get, and it's true. I'm, I'm definitely sore, one of the sorest I've ever been. It felt, feels like I just played a high school football game, and I just had a three-hour practice. But uh, you know, camp's going really well right now. Uh, the offense is really starting to come together. You got a really good team feel about this whole camp. And, uh, that's something that we didn't have last year. It's nice to see that you know everyone on this team is the right people on the team. You know we don't have other guys that are out there that are you know just here to wear the jersey, so to say. Max Bowley is my roommate. He's helping me out greatly. He he one night actually last night he woke me up from my sleep and he just wanted to quiz me on stuff and. He actually showed me every single formation, the name we call it, um, some of the checks we call, where everyone on the defense is supposed to be lining up. And now I know a lot more than I did before. But yeah, camp's been a grind, man, but you know, it's one of those things you, you have to do it every day. Um, and you have to do it to be successful. 
So, so though it's a grind, uh, though it's very difficult at times, um, there's a part of us deep down inside that really appreciates it, um, and we know there's no substitute for it, and we're only going to be better for it in the long run. I'm just excited for another day. So, uh, as of now, you know, just going to take advantage of, you know, of this rest, uh, you know, get my body right, and just uh, get ready for another grind of the day. Uh, Aspire Nation, we coming. Although camp is a grind and hard work, for the seniors, it's a time of realization. The realization that this is their last preseason camp and the last season they will put on a green and white and play as a Michigan State Spartan. You know, just, it really, you're at like a loss for words on, on your season when you're really thinking in retrospect of, you know, this could be it, or this is it, this is my last year. I mean, it's, it's tough to put into words how I'm feeling. It's my last count, and time flies by, and it's my senior season. And just not really, I'm just not realizing like uh, just my last go around. This my, just like uh, Matt said in his senior speech. This is my last chance at it. This is my last chance to play in Nebraska, Michigan, Iowa, whoever it is, um, ever. Like I'm done. I'm just done after this. I don't get another chance. Um, and you don't really realize that until your days are numbered. This is going to be my last time playing Big Ten schools and my last time playing with my friends and last time listening to Coach Dudes and talking to Coach Barnett for, uh, for the games and getting ready with Coach D. And uh, I'm just looking forward to it. So I just I want you guys to do everything you can um, to help me and to help this football team get as far as we can. Because we have it in here. We have it in here to do what we all want to do. It's just tag, taking the attitude and using that and moving forward with it. As a, as a senior, I'm taking it one day at a time and just enjoying every moment, every play, and just all the opportunities that I have, you know, my last opportunities here at Michigan State. And uh, the older you get, I feel like the more you, you really uh, appreciate, you know, those, those little things like waking up at the 550 lift and, you know, going there with all your buddies on the team because we, by the time it's your fifth year like me, you're thinking, man, I, those days are limited. You know, I'm definitely thankful for the second opportunity in which uh, you know, I can be here. You know, uh, you know, last year I was saying you know, it was my last year, and uh, you know, I was blessed with the you know, second opportunity, which came in uh, pretty much a different way in which I wasn't expecting. Uh, so, you know, my injury was uh, definitely a blessing in disguise for me. It's kind of weird just uh, seeing myself grow up. You know, being a senior and all, seeing myself grow up and just watching, like, just seeing that I'm in the front row of the. Uh, of the uh, the seats in the uh, in the meeting room now, and seeing all the freshmen coming in now and in, in the back row, and knowing that I used to be that guy in the back row, and it's crazy. It's crazy. The time flies, and it's it's just exciting at the same time too. And you know, I want to go out on top. You know, uh, every senior wants to do that. I mean, I'm happy. I'm sad, like I said, but there's so many more things that you know. I individually and as a team want to accomplish and there's only a short amount of time to do it. So um, you know as camp goes on we're going to develop the young guys, the older guys, we're going to have to you know we have to fix those mistakes we had last year and we're doing that and we have those people and um, you know I just want to get out there and I just want to play football. That's all I want to do, play some football. As camp progresses through the middle of August, the wear of camp starts to take a toll on the players, both physically and mentally. Week two of camp, this is kind of the week and this is the time where every day really becomes a choice. Uh, as you go out to practice, you can pretty much choose to be miserable, you can pretty much choose to uh, mope, kind of have the, the case of the poor me's we call them. Um, or you can choose to be excited, you can choose to be enthusiastic, and you can choose to be an attitude, but uh, energy and enthusiasm just don't happen on accident at this point in camp. This is the time during camp that it gets rough for people and people start hitting, like the freshmen start hitting the walls and and people start to get, you know, getting down, they get tired, they get lazy, you know, that stuff in the dog days in camp. 
you know, the feeling's a little bit different now, you know, being, you know, going in for almost two weeks and banging with the same people, you know, you're, you're hitting the same guys every single day and, you know, we got people that are banged up and bumps and bruises, you know, myself included. Uh, but this is where uh, you win a Big Ten championship. Uh, you know, it's put on TV through the season and at the end of the season, but uh, during camp, uh, the summer workouts, the winter workouts, spring ball, that's truly where you win the Big Ten championship. And I think we all been handling well. We all been focused on the goal, which is the Rose Bowl and the National Championship. And I think we've been doing a great job of just being focused on that. Our team has something special. I mean, I'll say it now, I'll say it again, I'll say it two months, three months down the road. Our team has something special that, you know, I've, I've never been a part of before. And, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to see showing, you know, showing the nation, you know, showing everybody what our team can do, what we're capable of. With the slow grind wearing on, there is a light at the end of the tunnel as camp comes to an end. The hours of relentless work and preparation, along with the blood, sweat, and bruises, all seem worth it as the Friday night opener is now just a week away. Well, here we are, week three of camp, really down to the final hours of camp. Um, we're out of the dorms, back at our apartments, back at our houses, which move out day at the dorms is really the time when you can really start to feel just how close we are to being done with this phase of preparation, with being done with this phase of, uh, of getting ready for the season. So uh, we've had a good camp. We just uh, finished a long grind. I mean, uh, there's a lot of things I learned this year. A lot of things I'm gonna take from it, you know, to grow as a man, grow as a person. Uh, man, I tell you, it's, it's a good time. It's always a good time when you can go out there and have fun with people, you, you know, people you can relate to and people you can call your brother. And I, I consider my teammates my brothers because they, you know, they're fighting for me, I'm fighting for them. So I think it's a testament to our team, the work ethic that we have, um, to the drive that we have this year, to the commitment to excellence that we have this year, realizing just the importance of every opportunity that we have um, to get better, to improve as a team, um, to grow in unity, to grow our bond for one another, and to perfect our craft and really get ready for the season. We just had a pretty big speech from our three captains uh, Darquez Denard, Max Buller, and Blake Treadwell, and I mean, uh, we're, we're going to chase it this year. I feel like this is going to be a great year for us, and uh, it's just going to be a great year. It's going to be something new, you know. Uh, I don't think most people are aware of uh, what we're going to accomplish, but they'll understand when we play them. They'll understand why we're Michigan State and why, you know, we work so hard through these camp days, you know, the camp grind, and they'll understand why in the past, you know, We've been a strong team, we've been a strong defense, and we're going to prove to them, you know, this year that we, we have a strong offense, and we have a lot of seniors, and man, I, I just can't wait to get out there with my brothers, you know. Uh, we're excited to finally get this season underway. Uh, we feel ready, we feel excited, and most of all, we feel prepared. You guys keep up, you know, and you'll see what's in store. Thank you for your time. Good afternoon there, guys. Um, 2013 is here, and as, as I told our football team, everything that we've done from winter workouts to weight training to spring ball to summer conditioning bottom line program to, to fall camp here is really all leads up to this coming Friday. So we've talked to our players about it, uh, you know, accumulating right there and um, it being showtime. So we're looking forward to this opportunity and getting under the lights. And I think the uh, basis of camp has been uh, very tough. We've hit a lot. We've gone live a lot, probably more than usual. Yeah, but we've come out of this uh, pretty healthy as well, uh, and we're fresh. We looked at our football team last night. We practiced under the lights. We were a fast football team, and I think that's what that's what's, uh, we're trying to get to. We need to start building our reputation as a football team. That starts this Friday. We'll be ready to play. That that I can count on uh, based on our, our players' uh, demeanor, how they've handled themselves throughout the uh, fall camp and based on their last, last night's practice. So we're looking forward to Friday, Western Michigan. Uh, Coach Fleck comes here 0-0, zero zero, so 
the history of what he has done is all based on his resume as an assistant where he's been. Uh, so we've looked uh, very deep into those areas, uh, both, both offensively, defensively, and special teams. But obviously, there are some things that we don't know about Western as they come into this game. I do think one thing that, that people need to recognize, I think all Spartans out there need to recognize, you know, that uh, as we go forward, it's important that we all go forward together, as I've said many, many times. So I guess I'm speaking to the masses out there because, you know, things can be slanted one way or the other, depends on how you write it, okay, as we know. But um, the main thing that I think that's important is that, that this football team goes like this, that we have belief in the guy who's under the center, we have belief in the guys who are catching the football, and um, in that our crowd and our fans appreciate that fact and move with us. As the sun sets on a long month of hard work and preparation, there is only one thing left to accomplish in August, and that is to beat Western Michigan. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting season of Michigan State Spartan Football. It's Labor Day Friday night, and we'll play under the lights here in East Lansing. The Spartans entertaining the Western Michigan Broncos. And I'll say one thing, Jason, this student body has come out in force tonight. The Spartans will get the football first. Western Michigan won the toss and deferred. Michael Dennis is tight on the right. Short drop by Maxwell, quick throw left side, caught by Benny Fowler. In motion, right to left. Andrew to throw. Fires to Aaron Burbridge over the middle on a crossing pattern, left to right, makes the grab, and he's up near midfield for the Western Michigan Broncos at their 20. Van Tubergen in the shotgun. Fires over the middle, it's gonna be picked off and lateral. It slipped back. It was lateral to Curtis Drummond. It was picked off by Jarris Jones. Curtis Drummond's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU! What a heads up play there. Pendleton wide left and Mumford to the right. Hand off to Riley Buller running to his right and he runs over Broncos. Long count and now the shotgun snap. Hit as he throws. He'll fire his right side. It is picked off. Picked wow. off. Curtis Drummond got another. A one-handed, one-armed interception by Curtis Drummond. What a night he's having. We saw lightning. And that means they're going to take the players off the field. And for the safety of everybody, Stop the football game for now. Andrew has Jeremy to his right. Here's the shotgun snap. Go over the middle. It's caught by Benny Fowler on a crossing He's pattern. Going. He's going to break Turn one. Him on. Tackle and get away from another. Set to the right. In the shotgun, it's Andrew Maxwell. Hands to Jeremy Lankford. To the goal line, to the end zone. Touchdown, MSU! That's the first career TD for Jeremy Lankford. Bridge to the right, Garrett King to the left, handoff to Jeremy Langford, starts to his left, cuts back to his right, stays in his feet at the 25, he's at the 30, and Darrell back to throw, feels the pressure, and he is going to be sacked. Good snap, here's the boot. Sims from his 36, little nice shake, block. runs to his right, he's at midfield. Now he's at the 45, at the 40-yard line, inside the 40, down to the 35, and down close to the 30-yard line of Western Michigan, all by himself in the shotgun. With Leichert tight on the right. 
This is, the run. this is a run all the way. He's at the 25, running to his right. He's at the 20, leading 13-7. We're in the third. Connor Cook takes the inside handoff to Nick Hill, runs to his right to the 10. Ooh. Hit there. It'll be a 20-yard field goal try from Huma. It's down, it's up, and it's good. Carroll takes the shotgun snap, throws right side. Oh, going to be picked off. Nice. Picked off. Jarris Jones got another one for Western at their 18-yard line. Carroll and the chance that he's snowed under in the backfield. The Spartan defense coming alive here for no huddle for Michigan State. Another handoff to Langford. Starts right, cuts back left. Got a step and then is snowed under inside the 35 at the 33. Set left, Davis to the right, Terrell under pressure, oh. hit by Marcus Rush, coughs it up, it's scooped up by Shalik Calhoun, he's into the end zone, touchdown MSU, the defense scores again. Second down and one for Terrell, pressure from Hoover, oh, pressure from Scarpinato, and they got him. Way, way, way back. And this one's over. Spartans get the win. Western Michigan with a game effort. The Spartans won it 26 to 13. As far as our offense, you know, we've got to we've got to have more explosive plays. We've got to come up with the um, with the play when we get the ball at the 50. We've got to make points out of it. Well everything's about execution and the mistakes we made tonight are correctable things, are things that we kind of inflicted upon ourselves. So we're just looking for execution, um, knowing your job, doing your job every play, and I think if we can do that, uh, then we're going to make a huge jump and a huge jump in improvement uh, from week one to week two. Yeah, great job. Great job by our defense the entire night, really. Um, you know, two huge scores. Uh, great awareness by JJ's flipping the ball to Curtis, and then uh, and also, um, you know, coming off a sack with uh, Chalik scooping the ball up on the on the uh, for the touchdown. It was a big, it was big, it was a big deal for us. I mean, we we talk about getting home, getting to the creating turnovers, getting to the end zone. So I mean, we we're just happy that we could do that. You know, we need to continue doing that. And they need to be a strength for a football team.